Honey, I'm home. Huh? I wasn't expecting you here so early. Yeah, well, I just came home for a bite to eat. Ah, pudding. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 12 of the Baku View. For this video, I figured I'd start out with the Super Assault. So I'm going to go over Chance and Quake Dragonoid. So let's just get right into it. Starting out, um, Chance Dragonoid, uh, they're both Ventus. So as far as the outside of him in ball form, it's just pretty much green and white, the typical Ventus look. So he's not too impressive. I guess it's kind of cool though that you can see the die right here. Uh, anyway, as far as opening him up, See if I can get a good roll here. That wasn't really too impressive, but uh, anyway, let's see, he's got 450, 530, 600, 670, 730, and 820 G. He comes with a green ability card, Chance Dragonoid, with a power level of two. It says play during a battle with your Chance Dragonoid. Reroll Drago's die. If you roll lower, reroll one more time, and then remove this card from the game. So, I mean, that could be beneficial if you're trying to get a higher uh, G power for him, but I actually have a particular strategy with him that I'll mention later with Quake Dragonoid that I think makes him really worthwhile. As far as uh, closing, well, before I close him up, um, he has, for manual parts, is just his head, but it doesn't really stay up very well. It's just kind of plops back down, but I guess that helps with the dice throwing. If it did stick, it would kind of cause problems. But um, he also has this bottom jaw here that moves, and these horns here will come up. And what happens is he has um, special instructions that come with him, and it pretty much just says when you, you flip these up, and that kind of gives you a little bit of a, something to push on there with the horns when you re-roll the die. So let me show you that real fast. Okay, that was pretty bad too. One more time. Okay, that was a little better. So, that's pretty much all there is to him. Um, closing him up. Just flip the horns back down. Then the head goes back down. I'm going to put the die back in his mouth. And then just fold his arms down. And the wings. And the tail. So, that's Chance Dragonoid. And then uh, Quake Dragonoid. Yet again, pretty plain on the outside. He's got his little uh, thing here to wind up. All right, let's open him up. So that's pretty much all he does. Um, I think it's cool when he's moving, though. Like His mouth will kind of go up and down a little bit. But, I mean, aside from that, it's not really that impressive. He's uh, 950G though, so that is impressive. Um, as far as um, closing him up, it's pretty simple. Just flip his feet up, fold his head down, flip that in there, and then fold these wings back, and then bend the tail down at the tip, and then close it there. So he's pretty easy to close up too, and he has no manual parts aside from winding him up there. He comes with, um, I assume it's an evolution card, or something like that, whatever they call it. I still don't know the official name yet. So it's purple. And then it just says evolves from any Drago under 650 G power. And then it says unique. You may reroll Quake Dragonoid once per turn. So, I mean, he's obviously pretty powerful. And then, like I said, I think Chance Dragonoid's awesome with him because when you roll the die, if you get something lower, you can obviously evolve to Quake Dragonoid. But if you get something high, then you have a high-powered Chance Dragonoid. So either way, I think that's pretty good. So I'm probably going to use that for my Ventus team. Um, I'm still going to stick with Subterra mostly, but I figured since I have these guys as Ventus, I might as well make use of them. So anyway, um, that's all I'm going to say for this video. 
Then um, the next video, I'm probably gonna go over the battle gear yet. Uh, the battle gear that I got, um, I'll just combine from the Brawler game pack and then the Jet Core that I got as well, just to do them all at once. So uh, look forward to that, and see you guys next time.